Hi guys, welcome back to On The Fence. Uh, what a weekend it's been. What have we learned? We've learned, I think, Arsenal are all but definitely out of the top four now. I think they're fucked, if you ask me. Uh, we've learned that Man United are just as shit as the rest of us. City are going to walk away with this league like we all, we, knew. we all knew back in December, probably. Maybe even November and October. And we also learned that Liverpool aren't shit against the shit sides. So, typical Liverpool turned up today at St Mary's uh, in the Premier League. And we won 2-0. Uh, that's typical Liverpool, if you ask me. Typical Liverpool isn't Swansea away, West Brom in the Cup, and uh, other results like that. You know, take your pick out of the, some, of the, some of the shockers we've had. Typical Liverpool is the Liverpool that turned up today, like I said, at St Mary's Stadium, and beat Southampton by two goals to nil. For Roberto Firmino in the sixth minute, and Mo Salah in the 42nd minute. Professional job by the Reds, or the Tangerines, whatever you want to call them, the Peaches. You know, this kit's been quite lucky for us this season. Kind of like our toxic kit last year. Um, yeah, professional performance. Uh, you know, we didn't really look like in danger of, of drawing the game or losing the game. We were solid throughout. Uh, we attacked in the right way. We could have probably got a couple more goals if Mane wasn't a little bit... Um, I don't know what you'd say. I mean, he, he's. I wouldn't exactly say he's necessarily been out of form. I think it's out of character for him because he's usually excellent and he's, he's not been as great, you know, I think he's been, you know, average to good, and he's still got a decent goal record, you know, for the winger, if you think about it, but, you know, sometimes he just, he's letting himself down with a couple of bad touches and stuff like that, but anyway, let's go through the goals, so, uh, we play a ball forward from Oxley chamberlain looking for Mo Salah, Wesley Hoyt gets his feet all wrong, goes between his legs, Mo Salah breaks into the box, he squares it left, in between under the defender's legs, and it goes to Roberto Firmino, who just you know, brushes it into the net. 1-0 Liverpool, six minutes in. Best start you could ask for, you know, because Southampton then have to come out. They have to break the shape and they have to come out and try and uh, get a goal then, which was probably against their game plan. Uh, you know, I think Southampton defensively are poor. They've been poor this year and that's what's led them down to the hole that they've been in. You know, that's the reason why they're down in the relegation zone, or near the relegation zone. And they're fighting for, uh, fighting for the lives now. So then... You know, the game pretty much panned out like that. I didn't really see a lot of the game. I missed a bit of it. I only watched, really, the... I seen the two goals. I seen a couple of saves by Karius. And I saw the most of the second half. So, I'm only going to... I'm going to comment and speculate on what I saw. Not on anything that I didn't see. You know, if, if I've missed anything, you know, please let me know. And I'll discuss from the comments. But right now, I haven't seen it from, uh, you know, where I'm watching. Because I was working. So... Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple of good carry saves, actually, if I'm honest. There was one where he, he saved the header from Ward-Prowse, I think it was. And then, I don't know who took the shot, but a, a diving save to his left-hand side. Uh, high at the net. You know, it was probably a bit more of a camera save than anything else. But he had to make it, and he did. And we've got a clean sheet from it. You know, the back four, I think, were incredible. Uh, not incredible, but they were solid. Uh, and that's all you can ask for in these kind of games, you know. We've kept a clean sheet and people's head, you know, people people aren't going to say much about the fact that we've kept a clean sheet because it's nothing to celebrate. But, you know, every time we can see the goal, people have to, you know, talk about how shit we are defensively. But look how good we were today. We didn't look like conceding the goal, if I'm honest. Uh, you know, so later on to the game, 42nd minute, we uh, we strode forward with uh, Joel Matip. We, sorry, we moved forward and we played it to Mo Salah. He turned, in behind, uh, turned to face goal. Plays a 1-2, a smart 1-2 with Firmino. Firmino with a fantastic little back heel. Uh, just beats three defenders and then Mo Salah taps in for 2-0. You know, uh, vice versa from the first goal. Mo Salah to Firmino and this time it's Firmino to Mo Salah returning the favour. And look, then we're in cruise control going into the second half. And I saw the second half, like I said. It, you know, it looked a bit flat. There was a couple of chances here and there. And, you know, like I said, professional job by Liverpool. You know, we didn't overcommit. We didn't leave ourselves... Uh, short at the back, even though arguably our our, our winger uh, our full backs were quite attacking in this game. Um, so yeah, a couple of performances that I thought were were quite decent from the second half performance, especially. I thought Trent Alexander Arnold he's got a hell of a whip on him, hasn't he? Hell of a right foot. Uh, Shade Gerrard with his crossing. Uh, the ball, I think it's one ball in particular he plays the most Salah, where it's it's more of a clearance from Alexander Arnold, but he shapes it towards Mo Salah. And puts it down the line. And it's the whip on it, like I said, is amazing. Into the path of Salah. And I just think, you know, them balls in the future we can profit from a lot. Mo Salah's pace in behind. In behind the defender. From Mo Salah's ball. Uh, sorry, from Trent Alexander-Arnold's ball. 
that can be something that we profit from in the future maybe and like I said again his crosses are really good Virgil van Dijk I thought he was excellent he was influential at the back you know he was he just makes us solid now doesn't he you know he makes us really hard to beat um and yeah like pretty much that's that's what he brings to the side and if that's what 75 million pound brings you then you know let's be paying 75 million pound for defenders all day long uh Lurie's Carrius I thought was 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 good don't don't think he made a mistake from what I saw you know I think he was just he was just good okay and and that's all we want from a goalkeeper you know we're talking about getting a world-class goalkeeper that's fine I still think we need one but for our goalkeeper from now to the end of the season to be good is a positive so just take it as that and then you know the usual the front three were, were, were decent as always Mo Salah getting another goal Firmino getting another goal Firmino being so influential to how we play Mo Salah being a bit off the boil like I said but Still creating chances. You know, could have had a couple of goals himself, but he just, you know, miscued a couple of them. And, um, yeah, you know, midfield, we were quite solid too. All across the park, I think we were we were, we were were good. And we didn't really have to step out of second gear, to be honest, to beat Southampton. I think we could have showed a lot more in that game. I think if we'd have gone full throttle, we probably could have beat them about 5-6-0, to be honest. Um, but we didn't need to, you know. So, roll on Porto. That's, the, that's a big game now. Champions League tie. Hopefully we can get a good result away in Portugal on Valentine's Day um, to save us having to play a really, really strong side in the home leg. We can get a few a few more good results like this in the Premier League before we face Manchester United, which will be a big, big game because we're only two points away from them now in third place. Let's see what happens to Chelsea tomorrow because I'm not sure if they can go ahead of us. I think they're one point behind us now. So like I said, I've said on Twitter all the time, we are in control of third place now. And now we're fighting to try and get second. And I think it's achievable. You know, I think we've got 12, 13 games left from now till May, uh, till the end of the season. And I fully believe that we can get second place and show everyone why we are the best, uh, the second best side in the league after Manchester City. Um, and maybe, you know, see what happens next season. So, yeah, uh, if you agree, guys, you know, like the video if you agree. Uh, comment below, let me know if there's anything I've missed in the game because I didn't see it all. Let me know who your man of the match was. Mine was Van Dijk. Um, yeah, so, and like I said, subscribe, you know, if you want more videos like this. Uh, I didn't, didn't do a live reactions video, like, self-explanatory, because I was in work. So, yeah, just let me know who you thought Man of the Match was. Like the video, and subscribe. Thanks, see you later.